Thank you for the introduction. Yes, so I'm Corey Myers of the Nakagaki Lab at Waseda University, and I'm here today to talk about breaking the wall of humanities in action on climate change. So we're headed towards a four to six degree temperature rise by the end of the century, which means global scale extinction, including you and me. Now, if we keep our promises to reduce fossil fuel consumption, it's a three to four degree temperature rise, which means the end of any kind of organized civilization. Now, what scientists and engineers and politicians tell us is we can maybe handle a two degree temperature rise, but we should really try to keep it to one and a half degrees C. But there's a problem. One and a half degrees C is already baked into the system. And sometime in the next 10 to 20 years, we will have released enough CO2 that two degrees C is unavoidable. So how are we supposed to avert this global scale catastrophe? Well, we're depending on a technology that takes CO2 out of the air and does something with it. And it does something with it is really important because right now the best idea is to put it deep underground, which is technically possible, but it's got a major problem. It costs a lot of money. If we take a moment to ponder why it is humanity has brought itself to the edge of extinction, it's because burning fossil fuels and releasing CO2 is profitable. So it's my opinion that if we're gonna bring down CO2 concentrations even faster than we built them up, we need a way that makes money. So that's exactly what I've developed. Let me explain it to you. CO2 is reacted with the wastewater from desalination, which is called brine. Now the important thing about brine is that it's a regulated waste, which means the cost of treating it, it's already built into the market. Now that treatment cost becomes our revenue. When this process is complete, the CO2 is converted into a stable solid, basically a rock, which can be sold and used in the construction industry. And you also generate salt that can be sold. Admittedly, it's a bit more complicated than I've led on, but I've now uh, analyzed and evaluated this entire process through experiments and simulation. And it turns out that for every kilogram of CO2 that you remove from the environment, you make 30 to 70 yen, which might not sound like much, but that's five to 11 times more than you get from burning the CO2 in the first place. Which means with this process, we now have a method to fight climate change that's not just technically feasible, it's economically attractive. So that leaves me with just one question. Who wants to help me save the world and make a little money while doing it? Thank you.